Hi, Vadim's here. If you run into this common issue, I'll walk you through exactly how to solve it, fast and frustration-free. Very often, professionals face the challenge of summarizing large data sets quickly and accurately. Let's say you handed a messy-looking sales report, dozens of rows, different products, dates, regions. Your job? Turn it into a clean summary and do it fast. This is where pivot tables shine. Let's take a close look at this report. The columns show data for salesperson, region, product, customer type, order date, units sold, and revenue. Some salespeople have multiple records. For example, Emily has two records, both for East region, but she made two sales of laptop and the monitor. There are a couple important considerations before we convert this data set into a pivot table. Every column should have a clear header, which is true in our case. There shouldn't be any merged cells, there shouldn't be any empty rows, and dates must be in the valid Excel date format. In our data set, everything checks, so we're ready to go. Let's click on any cell in our data set and click Insert and then Pivot Table. We'll select New Worksheet and click OK. Our data is still in the Sales Data tab, but Excel created a new sheet where we can summarize the data. Here you can see all the column headers from our original data set. Let's first summarize the revenue by region. To do this, let's drag the region into rows and then let's drag revenue into values. And if you look closely on the left, you've got total revenue by region in seconds. Now let's break it down further by product. To do this, let's drag product below region in the rows pane. Now we have a nested view. You see how each product performed in each region. Now let's compare sales across time. To do this, let's add order date to the rows. Now you see revenue trend over time, which is ideal for monthly reports. Now let's segment the data by customer type. Remember, in the original data, we had retail and wholesale customer type. To do the segmentation, let's drag customer type into filters. And now you see additional filter has been added on the top. And we can select between retail and wholesale, as well as choose both of them. Do you want to determine total units sold by a salesperson? No problem. Let's clear all the fields. To do this, let's select the field and click Remove Field. And now, starting fresh, we need to drag salesperson into rows and units sold into values. Now you can see who is driving performance. And if you add product to columns, suddenly you've got cross-tab summary of units sold per product and per person. This summary might help you determine who is selling better and which product, which might help in cross-knowledge sharing or specialization. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Online Training for Everyone. Have a great day.